Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. In this tour, we're going to go over a little bit of file management techniques on kind of moving around catalogs, how we do it, and also some of the common issues that you might run into and how to fix them. So let's get started. I'm going to bring up my Explorer Windows. Uh, if you're on a Mac, bring up Finder now. We're going to navigate ourselves over to, I'm going to bring up two windows. One's going to be my desktop, and one is going to be the training catalog that we've been using. Okay, and I'm going to close out of this catalog right now just so we don't have any of these temporary files and so we can actually move this catalog. Now, one of the reasons why we say, and we've gone over this briefly before, but we'll reiterate again. One reason we say that we create a new catalog for each event is because we want our catalogs to be easily manageable. We want the images inside the catalog folders, and we want those folders not to get too large. A single wedding, like a you know, if you're shooting an event or a wedding, a single folder, a single catalog can get up to 60, 70, 80 gigabytes pretty easily. If you're shooting full raw and you're shooting you know, with even larger file sizes, it can get even larger. So we keep each one separate because if you want to transfer, say, if you put everything into one single catalog and you want to transfer that catalog to another drive, you could be transferring 500 gigs, 600 gigs, or even a terabyte of information if every one of your catalog or images is on the same catalog. So we always separate it out. Each event gets its own catalog. This keeps Lightroom running fast, and it keeps uh, the folders at a manageable size that are easy to move back and forth. Next, we put the images inside of the catalog folder. Reason being is if we want to move this catalog, all we got to do is move the entire thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this catalog to our desktop so we can easily access it for the rest of these tutorials. So from here, we're going to click and drag, and we're going to put it right on our desktop. And uh, it's going to create a copy of it. So uh, actually what we'll do is I'm going to undo this by hitting Control Z or Command Z on a Mac. You don't really need to. Hopefully you did it right. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do one more time. We're going to right click and drag. And this time we're going to say move here. That way it just copies and moves it. Or it moves it rather than copying it. Okay, so now we have our catalog uh, on the desktop. So let's go to our desktop now. And here it is. <coughs> So if I open up the catalog file now, because the images are within that folder, it will work just fine. Because all what this catalog is saying is just look in this root folder for the, the originals uh, folder. And as long as it finds the originals folder, everything is good. Uh, none of the images are broken. Nothing like that has happened. And that's why we keep those images within the file. So we can move that around, open up the catalog file. Everything stays good, even though we switched up the drives and the location. Now watch what happens if I accidentally take the images out of here. So let's say the images are stored somewhere else. We'll say the images are located on the desktop. Well, what happens in Lightroom now, because I moved these images from the Windows Explorer or from Finder, we move these images out of that folder. When we go back into Lightroom, it's going to say that those images are broken. And you notice that because it has a question mark next to each of these, where it says photo is missing. So if we try and expand it, it's going to say the file name this is offline or missing. If we go over the folder, it says, I cannot see or find this entire folder. So how we're going to do that, how do we fix it, is what we do is we right click here and we say find missing folder. We go to the desktop and we locate that originals folder, which is right there on the desktop because we pulled it out of the catalog folder. So we're just going to select that and hit select folder and now everything works again. If I hit G to go back to grid view, I can see all my images are fine again. It locates each one of them and fixes all those broken links to those images. Now, let's go back to the desktop. Okay, so now I have my originals and my Lightroom catalog in different folders. This is what a lot of people do and this is the problem with it, is if I move this folder, the catalog folder somewhere else, I'm not actually taking along the originals with it. So sometimes people have the originals stored in folders that they don't know about, they move the catalog and it doesn't have the images. And when they get on another machine, they don't have the originals or they may even lose their originals. So once again, I would always recommend putting your images inside of the actual catalog folder that you have for each individual job. So we're gonna put originals back in here. We're gonna go back into Lightroom. We're gonna update this one more time by hitting right click. We're gonna say find missing folder and we're gonna point it back to where it was. So Lightroom for uh, A to Z catalog, and we're going to click Originals, Select Folder, and it's fixed again. 
So if you guys ever see the question mark, don't freak out. It just means that Lightroom cannot find the images and you need to point it in the right direction to be able to find your images again. If you guys follow this rule of keeping images inside of the catalog folder, this will be an issue that really isn't going to come up since you're moving everything with each other and it's all staying together. The only time it might come up is if you actually rename that originals folder. So if we name this original and not originals, then when we go back once again, it's going to be broken and we need to relink it. So I'm just going to go back to Windows Explorer and uh, add the S back in and it should automatically fix it. Uh, you know, it, the easiest way to manage your stuff uh, is to manage it from Lightroom. That way Lightroom knows exactly what you're doing with it. So if you want to rename a folder, do it from Lightroom. Just right click on it and hit rename in Lightroom. That way, uh, so if we want to say original images, that way Lightroom knows that that folder has been changed and you're updating it from Lightroom as opposed to from Windows Explorer. Okay, so the more you can do from Lightroom and, and renaming and, and managing these folders, the better because it's going to be less of a hassle. All right, guys, so the, hopefully that'll help in kind of managing your files and, and organizing your catalogs into some in a format that's going to be much more approachable and easy to kind of use and transfer and, and use in your workflow. All right, guys, so hopefully these tips will help you guys in as far as file and organization goes, as well as in keeping your uh, catalogs and events manageable. Let's move on to the next tutorial.